many of us might be feeling grief right now because we have this life, we have these things that we do, and I'm going to call this the spell of modern life. It's like our circumstances in the world now, which we've been prepared for if we're following this apostolate. Certainly it has been clear to me that there was a reason heaven allowed enormous latitude in removing the separation between our human experience and the divine participation in our human experience. We've been given instructions. The role of the Pharisee, we each play that role on some days, and that is getting to know who who, how you look when you're playing the role of the Pharisee. That's crucial work. As I contemplated those people, I thought to, themse to myself, I realized they didn't hate Christ. It really wasn't personal. What they hated was the truth about themselves. That's what they couldn't stand. And they really couldn't get comfortable with Christ walking around indirectly preaching the truth about themselves. So he had to go, because in Christ was the mirror in which they saw themselves accurately. And that was too painful for them. And we are okay. We are in God's providence. And when you're practiced at having to rely on God's providence, you're really detached from how a thing goes. You're more interested in kind of performing correctly for God, regardless of the details. So uh, I vowed to myself that I would not criticize any international leadership because I thought no one can be prepared for this. It's like Hurricane Katrina flying over that area after that hurricane. It's not something any country any leader, any amount of money can fix. And that alone is a silver lining. The recognition that we are all vulnerable. We aren't God. Uh, we don't control the planet. We control events on the planet to a small degree, but uh, uh, the all-powerful God is really not vulnerable to us. You have access to God in every moment. God hasn't left you. It can't even be. It's not, it can't even be.